Hi everyone, thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. This is a scholarship Friday edition on my channel and as usual, we will delve into the university admissions and scholarship application opportunities from across the world. If today is your first visit to my channel, I respectfully extend my warmest greetings. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, thank you to all my returning subscribers. I genuinely appreciate your support. On today's episode, the spotlight will be in Sweden. Yes, Sweden. We will explore the procedures in applying to Swedish universities in details, with the goal of finding fully and partial funded university scholarship for international students. This scholarship covers tuition fee, health insurance, and monthly stipend. So guys, if you are ready, Let's get started. All right, guys. So the first thing that you have to do is to visit universityadmission.se. Now, universityadmission.se gives you the opportunity to apply to courses and programs in all of Sweden. So you don't need to visit any different application portal in applying to universities in Sweden. This being because all the universities and their courses and programs have been centralized into this particular admission portal. Now, information regarding application date, deadlines for submission of both documents and then payment of application fee is all found on this website. You can apply to master's program, bachelor program, information pertaining to entry requirement, key days and deadlines, selection and admission result, fee scholarship and residence permit all found on this website. The website also has relevant information on frequently asked questions so you can use it to further find more information about the application procedures. Currently, admission is open for autumn semester 2022 and the deadline as i said earlier on the 17th of january 2022 so for example if you want to offer a program in geography you can search for geography and then it will bring you to the search result from this result you can find out that a lot of universities are offering the same program so it is up to you to select which university and which program you wish to offer. With the help of the filter key furthermore, you can narrow your search to your preference. You can search for the university name here. You can also find all the subjects related to what you want to read or to study in Sweden. And then also the level of courses that you like to apply to. Again, Applications that are already open are indicated with this green icon. Applications that are yet to be open is indicated with this orange icon. And then those that are closed are indicated with a red icon. One good thing about applying to universities in Sweden is that they give you the opportunity to apply to a maximum of four courses. Yes, and these four courses, you're only required to pay for only one application fee. So that's a very good opportunity, guys. It can save cost and also save the time in, you know, navigating to different application portals, different university portals to apply. Everything can be done on this particular admission portal. That's universityadmission.se. And don't worry, I have provided all the relevant links in the description box. So after watching this video, please kindly do well to check it out. So after selecting all your four preferred programs in the various universities, you are good to go to apply for the university of your choice. For the purpose of this video, I selected this four program to demonstrate how the website works. So in after selection of all the four courses, you can rank them to your preference. For example, which university needs to be your first choice, your second, your third, or your fourth choice. After selection of courses and 
you know, ranking all your um, programs of preference, you have to now go in and then submit your document. So in the submission of document, these are the documents that are needed. So they need your English proficiency results. They need your ID. It can be your national passport or any recognized system of identification in your country. They need your um, certificate, diplomas, and transcript. And always make sure that if they are not in English, it needs to be translated to English for them to process your document. And again, most importantly, most of the universities will require you to submit some program-specific documents. So, for example, some of the universities may require you to submit a copy of your CV, a copy of your motivation letters, a copy of your portfolio and then among others it can be a letter of reference from your various professors in your previous university so please kindly and humbly check it out in their respective universities website on this program specific document that are needed to be uploaded on this application portal uploading all your required documents you can now pay for your application fee so applying to the four courses selected to the different universities it can be to the same university you're only required to pay for one application fee which is 900 swedish kronen approximately 99 dollars guys this is much more cheaper than applying to multiple universities and paying for each program its application fee so this is much more economical and much more cheaper Information on how to pay and the mode of payment, everything is found on this website and I'll provide the links in the description box to so do check it out. And make sure to pay this application fee before the deadline that is on 17th of January. So you have to pay your application fee before the deadline. So yeah, so application fee payment the system that you can use to pay every information is found here after you've selected payment method so after payment of your application fee the next thing you have to check it out is the scholarship opportunities now there's a lot of scholarship opportunities in applying to universities in sweden ranging from university scholarship to government scholarship so in terms of the government scholarship we have the swedish institute scholarship which i'll talk about it in my next video so please kindly check it out if you haven't watched my next video some of the university scholarship that i selected for this video include the kth royal institute scholarship now, KTH Royal Institute have a lot of scholarship opportunities ranging from KTH Scholarship, KTH One Year Scholarship, KTH Joint Program Scholarship, and KTH Indian Scholarship. Now, KTH Scholarship, this is a very competitive scholarship opportunity. And if you really want to apply, the time is out for you to apply because admission is already opened and application for the scholarship is open as well so application is open on 1st of december 2021 and then the deadline is on 17th of january 2022 for you to be qualified for this scholarship first of all you have to apply for an university program in kth Royal institute and rank your university program as your first priority again students with conditional eligibility are also qualified for the scholarship the scholarship covers your fees, that's your tuition fee for the first and the second year, but it doesn't cover your living expenses, that's your living cost. The programs that are eligible for this scholarship include all the programs that are found on the university website except this program. So if you really want to apply for this scholarship, your program of selection need to be among all the programs available on the university website except this set of programs so guys if you really want to apply for this scholarship first of all you have to apply for admission using the university admission.se which i've already talked about it 
and then upload your document pay your application fee before the deadline submit your document before the deadline and then start your application for the kth university scholarship as i said it's a very competitive scholarship so you need to start your application as soon as possible deadline is 17 january 2022 all right guys so the next university i would like to talk about is Uppsala university now Uppsala university also has university scholarship for prospective students so if you want to apply for a bachelor degree program or a master's degree program you can as well apply for Uppsala university's university scholarship now their scholarship is open between 18th of january to 1st february 2022 so please kindly take note of their application time before you can apply for this scholarship first of all you have to apply for a bachelor degree or a master's degree program at Absalon university using university admission.sc which i've already explained earlier on so using this website you can apply for a program to Absalon university and most importantly you have to rank the program that you apply to in Absalon University using the university admission.se as your first priority of choice. So guys, don't forget this most important information. For you to qualify for your scholarship, first you have to apply for a program in Absalon University and rank their university program as your first priority of choice. Currently, application to Absalon University is already open between um, October 18 2021 to january 17 2022 so within this period you can apply for admission to Absala university so that when the scholarship finally opened in 18th of january to 1st february 2022 you can confidently apply for their university scholarship for academic year 2022-2023 these are the following scholarships that are available now, scholarships that are open to countries outside of EU and also from Switzerland include Absala University Global Scholarship, Absala University President Club Scholarship, and also scholarships that are open to citizens in Ghana, South Africa, Tunisia, or Canada. So if you are from any of these countries, you are good to go. You can apply for Underworlds Scholarship for Studies at Absala University. Again, if you are from any of these countries, you can also apply for the Ken Cow Gustav Scholarship in Uppsala University. So all the application date, the requirement and every information needed to apply for this scholarship is found on their website. So guys, I will provide a link to this website in the description box. So kindly do well to check it out the next university i would like to talk about is umea university in sweden they also provide a number of scholarship opportunities for international students especially students outside eu let's check out their application timeline so for scholarship to umea university the scholarship opens on 18th of January 2022 and the deadline is 1st of March 2022. Before you apply for Umia University Scholarship, you have to first of all apply for studies in autumn semester 2022. So application deadline for studies in autumn 2022 is 17th of January and then application for scholarship opens on 18th of January 2022. Announcement of the scholarship result is between 8th to 14th April. So, Uma University Scholarship for International Student, it covers a full or partial tuition waiver. Okay, so you can stand a chance of winning a full scholarship that covers all your tuition or you can win a partial scholarship. So eligibility criteria include one, first of all, you have to be a citizen of a country outside EU and Switzerland. And then you have completed your application for program to UMI University latest by the deadline that is 17th of January. And you have paid your application fee 
by 1st of February, the latest. The most important information is that in applying for programs to Umia University using the university admission website, you have to rank the program as your first priority. So you can see that from all the university scholarship, you have to rank the program that you wish to offer as your first priority for you to qualify for their university scholarship. So as I said, application is open on 18th of January. They also have the Ellen Pelson Scholarship for International Students in Public Health. So this scholarship is related to students who are applying for admissions to study in programs in public health. And it covers a full tuition waiver as well as a monthly stipend of 3000 Swedish kronen per month. So guys, this is also an awesome opportunity to apply for Umia University Scholarship. All the information relating to this scholarship can be found on this website and the link also can be found in the description box. So kindly do well to check it out after watching this video. All right, now let's talk about Malmo University. Now, Mamo University also provides a number of scholarship opportunities for international students outside the European Union. Now, the scholarship application round for 2022 academic year is open on April 2022. So, who are those eligible for this scholarship? Well, first of all, you have to apply for a program to study in Malmo University. And most importantly, the program of study must be in English taught master's program. And then also the program that you selected to study in Malmo University must be ranked as your first choice of program using the university admission dot se. OK, so that is it. So the application process the document required and everything is found on this website. So guys, those who are interested in also applying to Mamo University, you have to first of all apply for a program using the university admission.se. And then once the scholarship opens in April 2022, you can confidently also apply for their university scholarship the next scholarship i would like to talk about in my next video will be centered on swedish institute scholarship i hope you guys enjoyed this edition of my video on scholarship friday i wish to see you in the next episode as i talk about swedish institute scholarship take care of yourself and be good bye for now